Today I'm going to share with you my story on how I went from being overweight to slim and trim and enjoying my life. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time here, my name is Emily and I'm so happy you're here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my weight loss journey and how I lost 80 pounds. So before I jump into the video, I want to show you a few before and afters so that you can get an idea of what I looked like before and what I look like now. So to say that my weight loss journey has been a lifelong journey would be completely accurate because I feel like I have struggled with my weight since I was like, I don't know, nine or 10 years old. Um, I believe that's when I got introduced to diet culture and I don't want to dive too far into that because I don't I don't know I just don't want to like dig up old trauma but to say that like I was introduced to taking laxatives and diuretics at a very young age and sometimes I would like not eat all day and I'd be like oh you know i ate like four or five apples because i thought that apples were healthy so i was like I, I thought that i could just eat as many as i wanted and it would be fine because i didn't understand um, because i was so young so you know i would do things like that i would think that foods that were categorized as being good for you you could just have as much as you wanted so i would just like a binge on those and I mean, I was at an age where I should not have been thinking about my weight regardless. So, <clears throat> my relationship with binging and restricting started at a very young age, and that's where my weight problems originated from. I wasn't taught the benefits of eating high protein or eating balanced meals. And that's something that I strive to like drill into my daughter's head because she's at the age now where she's like hyper focused on her weight because of the other girls at school and I know she sees me and how hard I try to work on not being overweight and I know that's not good for her mentally so I try to install in her the importance of eating balanced meals of prioritizing your protein of staying hydrated of eating fiber and also giving yourself grace and also the fact that she's so young she shouldn't even be having to think about those things but it's out of our control especially because of how popular diet culture is and it's on social media it's when our children go to school so it's something that we can't 100% shield them from so using your time at home with your children wisely and showing them habits that you use yourself is the best thing for them in my opinion so yes i wasn't taught how to have a healthy way of eating and i feel like the younger you can instill that in someone and not like drilling it in their head like this is what's healthy this is what's healthy but that this is what's normal you know it's not normal to drink dr pepper all day every day it's not normal to go out to eat multiple times a day it's not normal to not keep groceries in your house and eat half a loaf of bread because that's all that there is like just sh just showing up and being there for your children at a young age and showing them what a normal healthy way of life is is the best thing for us as human beings so i struggled with my weight at a young age in high school i was a pretty normal weight in high school i think my freshman year i started a little bit chubby um but throughout high school i stayed in like the 140s the 150s at the highest and i think there was periods of times where i got into the 130s and i <laughs> relied heavily on the i think it was michelangelo was the brand the michael michelangelo lean gourmet meals those were my go-to so i lived with my grandpa throughout my high school years 
and I just kept his freezer stocked with those lean gourmet meals. They were only a dollar at Walmart and so that's what I would stick to eating and they were only like some of them were like 180 calories 210 calories so I would have like four or five of those a day and I would only be eating around a thousand calories so I was I was under eating for sure but like I said I didn't know I didn't know any different I didn't know any better and I started working at McDonald's when I was 16 and we would get a free meal for all the shifts that we worked so of course I would take advantage of that and um, to say that I did not always make the best choices would be entirely true but that's how I got through high school was those one dollar Michelangelo lean gourmet meals and my free meal at McDonald's and I worked there from the time I was 16 until I graduated I even went back a little while um, when I was 19 after I had my daughter so I got pregnant when I was 18 when I was when I the day I went in to have my daughter <coughs> excuse me the day I went in to have my daughter I was I want to say 194 pounds and I was so full of fluid and baby so literally I had her I was 194 pounds when I had her I was 19 I got pregnant at 18 but literally at like my six week checkup I was back to like 148 pounds so after I had my daughter I got really really skinny and at that time this was like in 2008 I don't feel like a lot of people were talking about postpartum depression and I'm not going to 100% say that I had postpartum depression but it was very very hard for me after I had my daughter um, the being the being a mom was not hard for me that part came naturally and my world evolved around her it still evolves around her but I was a very young very poor single mom I had no help from her dad I did not have help from my parents it was hard I focused on the only thing that I could control and that was my eating <laughs> and I would literally starve myself. And so I got down to like the low one teens. Um, and I still felt like I was, and I still felt fat. There's definitely some body dysmorphia that I suffer from. So anyway, um, my eating disorder got so bad that at one point I woke up in the middle of the night because she was crying and I could not stand up because I had wrecked my digestive system so badly and I was so backed up and hadn't used the restroom in days. So I went to the emergency room <clears throat> and they, they told me like, you're literally compacted and like you've got to start being healthier. Fast forward to a couple of years later, I started really getting into gym culture. I had a really close girlfriend who I cared a lot about and she would meet me at the gym five, sometimes six days a week. And we did, we would meet each other for years. And it was like, like we, we did not let each other down. Like we, we, really depended on each other she was going through some things at the time she is a lot older than me i want to say she's like 13 or 14 years older than me so at the time i was in my early 20s and she was in her mid to late 30s so she was really there for me in a way that she didn't realize that she was and i was still a young single mom and i had a, a membership at the ymca so you can drop your child off there for two hours and work out that's included in your membership so i really heavily depended on that i would go to work i would pick layla up from daycare and then we would go to the gym and she would be in the daycare would see her in the little nursery where i was working out so she could like watch me work out in most areas of the gym and that's what I did for years and that really helped me mentally if if I had not had done that I just can't imagine how how different my life would be if I wasn't in the gym for all of those hours throughout those years if I was like I don't know running the streets or going to bars or you know 
I'm just very thankful for that period of my life. And I really got into heavy lifting. I got into heavy lifting. I got into power lifting. Um, there was a small period of time where me and my friend um, were going to a CrossFit gym. And I was really good at that because I'm just really strong. I don't think I'm that strong right now. But I mean, I was like squatting 275 pounds, deadlifting. I think my highest deadlift was around 285. Um, and I could like push press 135 pounds over my head. I got really heavy into the gym and I learned more about like protein and healthy eating and I was following um, like Heidi Summers, Heidi Summers on YouTube and Honey Buns Fit, Jen Heward on YouTube and I learned a lot about nutrition through YouTube and also through like following these women on Instagram. And if you look back through my Instagram, Love Emily Ray, you can look back at those years and see like I'm constantly in the gym. But that was really good for me and that's where I started to gain my knowledge of nutrition and exercise, workout regimens. I even was going to school to be a personal trainer, but I never finished. So then in 2008, I got married and Pretty much as soon as I got married, I stopped going to the gym because I just wanted to be at home with my husband and he wasn't a gym rat. So my gym routine pretty much just like ceased to exist. And I want to say when I got married, I was like around 150 pounds and my weight stayed there for the first few years. After what happened in 2020 that should not be named on here because I think they'll like, like, I don't know, do something, shadow ban my video or something, I don't know. So I'm not gonna say the word, but we all know what it was. So that happened like, you know, I think that happened around like March or April in 2020 and then like throughout the rest of the year. At the beginning of 2021, I got sent to a store that was at my job that was very stressful for me and <coughs> I think the combination of the stress of what was going on in the world and the combination of the, and the stress of and working in a very stressful environment just sent me over the edge and my binge eating disorder was the worst that it had ever been in my life so within a short amount of time I got up to 210 pounds and that's I, I believe that I may have actually been bigger than that, but I didn't weigh myself to see like how much I weighed at those times. But the heaviest that I weighed when I weighed myself was 210 pounds. And that's like when I went to my doctor. I went to my doctor who she has been my doctor for at that point like 10 years but now she's been my doctor for a very long time and you know I, I talked to her about my struggles and she could look back at my chart and see like whoa you've gained a lot of weight in a short amount of time <clears throat> in a short amount of time being like less than a year so she diagnosed me with a binge eating disorder which I mean I've I've had since a very young age but no one has looked me in my face and said hey you have a binge eating disorder. So she diagnosed me with a binge eating disorder and she prescribed me Vyvanse, which is the only FDA approved medication or it was at that time for a binge eating disorder and it's typically used for ADHD. So I was on Vyvanse for three months and that completely stopped my binges. It rewired my brain and I was able to get control of myself. I lost a lot of weight in that three months. <coughs> and then I continued after that to really dial in on my nutrition, tracking what I was eating on my fitness pal. And I, oh, my light just died. And I managed to lose 80 pounds. I think at the last spin of me losing the weight, um, I moved into a new house. That was really stressful for me. It was a hard time in my marriage as well. And I ended up getting down to like the low 120s, which I'm not at now. Right now I'm in the upper 130s. So I did, so I did lose 80 pounds, but I have gained a very small amount back. And now I feel 
healthy and I've been this this size for a while. I was only in the 120s for a short amount of time. And my mental health had gotten really bad last year, so much so that I went to the hospital at one point. Um, not, like, not like the mental hospital, but I was having a panic attack and thought I was having a heart attack. So um, I got, I did get control of myself and I've been able to maintain my weight. There have been periods of time, like I believe last year after Christmas, after like all the holiday partying and eating and drinking, I, I believe I got up to like 150, but I've been able to get control of myself and get the weight back off. Moving forward, my goals are to maintain my weight, to be as healthy as possible, to always be improving. And what I need to improve on right now is protein, 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 like I preach on my channel, and staying hydrated. I'm not good about staying hydrated. So... I feel like I could always be eating more protein and I could always be drinking more water. Oh, yes, that is my weight loss journey. Currently at the moment, I am trying to dial it back in because I had pneumonia the week before last and I always gain a few pounds when I'm sick. Um, I was on steroids, so I was on antibiotics, so I just feel really bloated. I literally laid in the bed for a week and did not move, but I'm not weighing myself right now. I, I'm giving myself a couple of weeks to really dial my nutrition back in and to get rid of any bloat or water weight that I have from those medications. So currently at the moment, I am really dialing in on my nutrition and I've made some what I eat in the day videos recently talking about like what I'm eating. I'm actually going to start tracking what I'm eating again on my fitness pal. So be looking for those videos to come soon. With that being said, make sure that you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And if you are on a weight loss journey, leave us a few words in the comment section down below if you are comfortable and tell us what your journey has been, what your struggles are, maybe some tips and tricks that you've used that have worked for you. And let's just support each other and be there for each other. Because when you have weight struggles, it can be lifelong and for me i believe it will be lifelong it's something i'm always going to have to focus on and the more of a support system i have the better i've done and that's always shown in the past i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye